Hi there guys, my name is uh, Wild from Wild Horse Tables and today I'm going to be doing my first ever YouTube video. Um, it's going to be a collection tour because I haven't posted a barn tour on Amino for quite a while and that's because this year I wanted to redo my barn and then uh, I didn't because I didn't have space for my barn. And now I'm just, I made space, but like everything needs to be made still. So I am going to show you the little sad thing that is my barn right now, but that will be shown later in this video. So a little bit about my collection. I have over 250 horses currently and they're all sorted very neatly. As you can see, they are on these little papers. Um... That's just because I'm not going to remember everything about every horse I own. So it says their breed, the year they were released, their product number and the name I gave them. So my horses live on these shelves and I'm just going to take you through shelf by shelf. They're sorted by uh, drafts and then horses and then ponies. And within each category it, they are sorted by breed on alphabetical order and then within a breed they're sorted on the year the first mold of a coloring came out so for example if Slyke released a new coloration like here with the fall the fall came out later than the um, stallion here but I'm still putting it next to her because that looks way nicer starting here uh, with the Ardenese um, I don't have the gelding yet, so that's why there are empty spaces. Those are just horses I don't yet own, but I like to make space for them because I want them. Um, and the false name is Joy. And then here are my Clyde steels, the false little power. And then we have the gelding then, um, strong horse. This mare is named Serafina, power pony. Um, I don't actually know her name out of my head. Susie, big boy, and then here are my Percherons, the false named Noir, and the Gelding or Stallion, I think it's a Stallion, is named Trevor. Um, over here are some empty spaces for my Shires, and then here's our Mare, White Beauty, the false name is Speedy, and then the Stallion is named Speedrunner. So here are my tinkers, um, there's one horse missing, he's in my barn right now. And then we have the um, 2015 stallion, which is named, let's see here, Night Star. We have the full named Rain, and the mare named Rainbow Dancer, Waterflow, the full, which is named Prancer. An exclusion, uh, exclusive version of the foal, which is named Princess, and the mare is named Caramel. And over here I have the last Tinker Mare, the exclusive, which is named Black Pearl. And then here are my um, Black Forest horses, which is called um, Wild Kooning. Um, Star, Stan, Stan, it's named Stan, and Breeze. And over here we're going on to the normal horses. This is um, my Akatikis, which the mare is named Pearl, the false Pearl Shine, and then the stallion's name is Leros. Um, you'll notice that some of my horses have weird or exotic sounding names. I, uh, I recently started giving my horses names from the country which the breed originates. So for example, my Black Forest name. Uh, stallion had a German name because the Black Forest originates from Germany. Then over here I have my Andalusians. The mare is named Lady. The false is Spirit. Then we have Miracle, Stormy, Destiny and Cinnamon. Comet and Sol Espimoso. Then over here we're going into the Appaloosas. So this is Flame, Ghost, Apple, Luna and Snowstar. And then here are some other Appaloosas. We have the Stallion Monte, Nina and the Mom Iris. Oh, poor little doggo. 
and the dogs and all the other animals I actually don't have a name for. I just got them with sets or advent calendars and they just kind of liven up the shelf pretty much. And then here's my Kmorgs. Um, this is Minoa. We have Jolie, Balvina, Star, Apollo. And then over here we're going into the English thoroughbreds. So we have Connor and Interceptor. I actually got him in stores. And then later in 2019, I, he came in the advent calendar. So I accidentally had a double of him. <laughs> then here are my foals, which is a conga now. So we have Avera, Talzana, Twister, and a nameless foal because she came with the magazines, but I don't actually have the magazine and the magazines tend to name the foals. So I always like to give them the, uh, the name that's already been given, but I don't know hers. So she remains nameless until I get my hands on her magazine. And here are the mares. We have Razor, Topaz and Falling Star. Then here's all my favorites, which are the Frisians. Um, Frisians are my actually my favorite breed to look at, not to ride or own necessarily, because they tend to have a lot of issues, but I like to look at them a lot. I like black horses and they're fluffy and great. So here's Jack. Um, Beleza's out on my barn. Shadow, uh, Nero, which the only uh, difference between them is literally the color of their hooves, but whatever. Um, Thunder, which is my favorite horse. It's the Black Frisian Stallion I used in my introduction, and he was my first ever horse. And he's also in my barn right now. And then this is Black Beauty. Here we have Bonfire, Laurence, and Malchen. Then here we start up with the Hanoverians. So that's Illusion, I believe. Yes. And her full Olympus. Then we have the full Crystal, Moondance, Victory, Wonder. Um, the false name's Little Victory. We have her, which her name I forgot. Champion, her name is Champion. Um, that's Sugar Cake, Dancing Shadow, and Eclipse. So then over there we have Candy, we have Storm, uh, we have Mountain Wind, and there are a couple of empty spaces for the Holstein horses. I have uh, the fall in a recolored version from a magazine. And uh, her name is Maya. And then over here we move on to the Napstroppers. And um, that over there is Dotty and her full Spotty. Over here we have Spot, Stippy, Freya and Stormcloud. And here we have a magazine exclusive named Zora. If you notice she's actually a full version of the Hanoverian uh, mare one with the ear net that came out in a set uh, this year because this year um, the magazines carried full versions of horses that came in sets which is really nice then over here we have our lippers, lipizaners which I all gave names which I probably can pronounce so we have Zebrek um, Zala Yaka and Ziga and this is Snow Dreamer and her two falls, Shimmer and Shine. One I bought myself and the other one a friend of mine brought back from Germany because she thought it looked cute and she didn't know I already had that one. But I love them nonetheless. They're twins now. So this is Duchess and her fall dancer. And then here we have our Lusitanos. We have Free Spirit. Serenity and Butterscotch. And here I have some empty spaces for some Morgan horses. And over here we start with our Mustangs. We have Cloud, Lightning, 
um, Wildfire, which I changed his name to Amigo because literally everyone names the stallion Wildfire. Uh, we have Minstrel, Arrow, and Dakota. For the Mustang Mares, <laughs> Sunburst and Snowflake. Then here are some builds for the paint, which I don't have, the Pasofino, which I don't have, and then here come my Pinto horses. Here's Diablo, and I have a second spot for him, because he actually has a color variation, but I don't yet have that variation. Um, here we have Wildflower, River, Blossom, Morning Mist, and Piria. And Wild River, and this is Red Pebbles. And then here come my quarter horses. Here is Nizoni. Here are Free Eagle, Kyra, Running Free, Ash, Chase, Fia, um, Cyan, and Star Sign. So Chase and Starshine are the same model actually, but again Chase I bought on my own and then later I got a set in which Starshine also came, so I accidentally had a double again. And then here are Nasia and Farah. Back there we have Virgo, my one and only Rocky Mountain horse Lila. And then on to our Tennessee Walkers. Um, Etalon is down at my barn right now. And we have Angel, Buddy, Jumenta, and another spot for Jumenta, which is because she also has a color variation, which I don't yet own. Um, we have Julius and Snowstar, our little fools. Wildstar and Herzblut. I'm sorry, German people, I can't pronounce it. And there, there is Esperanza. Then I'm going on to my Trekhainer family. We have my mare, which is named Beauty, and a foal Lily, and her, the other foal is named Annegret. I don't have the black horse of that set, it originally came with the barn, but I got that full at a flea market in Germany for a really cheap price, so I'm really happy with her. And here are a couple of truck hainers. We have the, a, a normal stallion named Bo. We have this uh, exclusive, which is named Pumpkin, because it's way too orange to be normal. And we have the black stallion, which is named Nachtskatten. And he also came with a magazine and it's really hard to get your hands on now. So I'm also really happy that I got him. And then we have the track in our gelding of this year, which is called Lowenhaus. And I'm also really happy with him because he's super cute. And then here are some spots for breedless horses. One of which I have, which is just the Palomino stallion named Tesoro. He doesn't really have a breed, so he's just the Palomino stallion. Then we go on to our ponies, and we start off with the Arabians. So here is one of my oldest models in the collection. Her name is Elzana. And then here's the, the grazing foal, which is named Dahlia. And then next to her is Amadeus. We have Prince, and Dusty, Deli, and Dauntless. I just now realized that I all gave them names starting with a D, which matches up quite nicely actually. And here we have her fourth winner, Splash and Corsair. Here I have my three stallions, Andoro, Namia, uh, Nayam Azil and Shadow Star. I, no, wait, that's not Shadow Star. I messed up, I guess. That's actually legend, but he's on the spots of Shadow Star, which I don't yet have because Shadow Star is the same as Black Stallion, but then with the exclusive ribbons, because they released him twice, once in the advent calendar of 2017 and one as a loose exclusive release in 2018. But th that's okay. So you should be like 
that. Now it speaks. And over here I have my Pinterabian slash Arabian. Um, flashy, rose, taffy, petite fleur and helios. Then here are my two curly horses, fluffy and plausje. Here's my classic uh, pony Isaac, my Connemara pony Rosanna, and then my dark pony and dark more ponies, Liraya, lovely, happy, red velvet, Nona, and Lucky. Then over here is my Dorman horse, Wunder, um, my fell ponies, Blackfire, Grey Love, and Glory. Then over here come my fjords, Bear, Lily Blossom, and Nevada. And Bear is actually not named after Bear, bear but it's Dutch for the word bear, so it's like a teddy bear. So here are my two halfling of foals, Romy, and I don't know her name, Ursuma. Her name is Ursuma. She's actually um, a Happy Meal toy. She came with the McDonald's Happy Meals in Germany last year. And this year they're doing Happy Meals again, which they have a Tennessee Walkman and Fall. And I'm trying to convince my parents to drive to Germany and otherwise I'll have to drive myself there. So we have uh, my Hufflinger for Sunny, the Hufflinger gelding named Astra, we have some her mare named Geertje, and then here we have Enchanting, Willow and Chance. So back here are my Icelandics, we have King, Jesse. Yoki and I don't know her name. I think it was named uh, Snowflake. She's another one of those um, magazine foals and she's actually the full version of the Connemara pony that came with the coach that released this year. And we have Fiona, Dream, Asa and Icefall. Here I have some Shetties. I have um, this black one is Rucker, we have Shalo, uh, Sparky, Flecky, Cutie, Heart, and Vite. Another McDonald's pony, her name is Greisa. We have Amber, Cream, Isabel, Firefly, and Cookie. And then over here we have my mini Shetland ponies, which are Boofje. Wanya, Twister, Browna, Brownie and Rosie. And again with Twister, I already had the uh, bought the normal version in 2015. And then the 2017 advent calendar gave me another one of the same model. So they're just the same. Over here are my Welsh ponies, Macho, Nadja and Seher. And then here come my um Breedless ponies, which I only have this stable pony, and his name is a boy. And then here are my only horses that are not on alphabetical order because they're so tiny and that just that doesn't look that well in the rest of the collection. So I place them here. We have Poka, Tiny, Little, Snow, Skippy, and Spotlight. And then over here I have a bunch of cards for exclusive horses that I probably won't be getting anytime soon. But in case I get them, I have already made some papers for them so I can put them in with the right horses. So over here is my uh, sad excuse for a barn right now. I have my um, paddock which currently Victoria and Beleza are playing in. And over here we have my two, my Tinker and my Tennessee Walker, Fleck and Etlon. And over here is Thunder. And then I kind of have mapped out my idea. So here's my paddock. Here's going to be, those are all going to be stalls. I actually started prepping for one. Here are two stalls too. These are just some slight stalls that are for... Um, guest horses or boarders that won't be staying very long and then this will be my tech and feed room 
and back here I have the watch stall. I have some play settings, so I have the big competition set. I have um, some pony agility things over here. All my people, my slide people, all my jumps, um, some uh, extra pony agility stuff, um, my bell wheels, and some extra fencing pieces also there. And then underneath here, I have some. Um, Bo uh, storage boxes which just contain uh, accessories from sets I got so when I set up my barn I can make it look way nicer and then over here is this big grassy field which are also going to be uh, things I'll be using for my barn but I'm not yet sure so this is just empty for now and over here I have my little advent calendar set up I always have a setup uh, from the advent calendar and my bedside table here. Um, each year I just unbox the advent calendar like you're supposed to all the way up to until the 24th. So yeah, that's my little collection right now. Then over here are my repaints and they're kind of terrible, I know. But it is what it is. This was actually my first time experimenting with pastels and I've not yet sealed him in so I won't be touching him because my hands will be grey. Here's my uh, spirit with, uh, with brushable hair. I found this really really beat up Tennessee Walker stallion at a thrift store once and I don't know what happened to him but he got all bumpy and that's not a paint job, that's just how I got him and he was really sad. <laughs> Poor boy. I have a custom on the Hanoverian stallion. I made her a mare and she's just a cute black horse now. I have a custom on the Tennessee Walk yearling. I have a full version of Thunder, which uh, is actually a custom on a Bayala horse, which I'll show you. I made this weird Arabian Tinker Cross Fall. This is a double named Sparrow Fall because I, named, I made him a little Jack Sparrow pirate outfit and he's just chilling. He'll, be, uh, he'll forever be Jack Sparrow as a fall. And over here are some other magazine falls. That one actually is a double because they are re-releasing the falls with new magazines because some magazines didn't quite sell as well and then they have the horses left over so they make new magazines. So this is Lola and Lalo and this is Fuego and that was a staple. Then here I have my mint condition net dropper full. I just leave him in the baggie because that way he's like he'll forever stay perfect and nice. And then here are some of my Payala horses. So I have my unicorn and I, I'm really terrible with names, so I'm gonna try. They all do have names, I think. Maybe, maybe not. Mm, this is definitely Flower and her full magic. Um, I think her name was something like Sabrina. I definitely do not know those two's names. She didn't have a name. I forgot her, her and all their names. So I'm sorry guys, I just forgot. But those are really cute and most of them are magazine exclusives. These three came from magazines and this one came from a magazine. I just, uh, I tend to not get the Bayala magazines because there are so many. But when I see a cute foal that I really like, like this purple foal, she's really gorgeous. Then I'll get the, the magazines, but otherwise I tend not to get those. So up here are my repaints. Um, I have these two bodies that I need to strip off paint. I got it, I redid him a while, a long, a, a lot of times and I'm just gonna redo them again and this one which is unfinished which is gonna be the color of my sadly now passed away kitten um, I have this model which is pretty much done except she's got some chips in it that I need to fix and I need to seal her but 
I'm I'm too lazy to to be honest I'm just too lazy and I keep forgetting then here I have a custom which is gonna resemble my Elise a uh, pony but I tried to paint him once and I did it a short color didn't come out and too well I'm not too scared to paint him again and then over here I have this tiny fool which I have absolutely no idea which color to paint him so if you all have any suggestions I'd love to hear them so yeah guys that was my collection slash barn tour I hope you all enjoyed my very first video I'm not sure if I'm gonna be making more but if I'll be making more I hope you like and enjoy them too and if you want to um, please like subscribe and uh, give a comment and I hope to see you all next time. Bye!